Hey folks, it's Dave here in Studio C, and I'm going to play some Hockey Blast today. I don't think I'm going to play the whole game, but we'll play a little bit and see how it goes. So I got my teams all set up here. It's Montreal at Quebec, 1984-85 season. Now the cards are small, as you can see, so what I did is for the goalie cards, I blew them up a little bit so we could maybe follow along and check um, on the saves for the goaltenders. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, so I got my uh, my scoreboard here, my chart, I got my, my possession puck, I got my momentum, and we're all set, ready to go. I got my cheat sheets everywhere too, as we try to get going here. Uh, before we play though, I do like to say that um, I may or may not be playing this correctly. I may have some of my own uh, rules I like to put into the game to make it fun for me. I may even make mistakes in the game. I've already tried to record this three times today and I've made mistakes every time, so it's possible I will make mistakes. So do not use this as a tutorial, but by the end of this video, maybe you'll have a good idea on how the game plays. So let's start off. My home rule is momentum goes to the home team to start the game. That's just what I like to do. There's a lot of, a lot of things that do that, so I like to... Um, do that for this game. So, kicking things off with a face-off. A six. Visitor wins the face-off. So, Montreal with the puck, and we'll begin our normal minutes roll. A four. It's an odd man rush. So, we need to roll another dice to determine the odd man rush, and it's going to be offensive two. So, offensive two is Mario Tremblay. If he has a triangle, he gets a scoring chance. Yeah, we do. So, Montreal gets a scoring chance right off the bat. So we're in our first minute of play. So we get a five. Three, one, and choice. So three, one, we're gonna definitely go two on that one there. So it's gonna be Bobby Smith to Mats Naslin over to Mario Tremblay. So we have one star, two star, three, four stars. So we have the black needs to be four or less. Seven, he's got two on the save over here. So we need to get three or higher. So we're shooting, I like to call it, we're shooting four on two. Shooting four on two, and that is a goal. It's underneath the four, and it's greater than the two, and the Canadians. Just like that, get on the board. Montreal goal, and that is Tremblay. Tremblay, Naslin, and Smith. I'm not going to keep a ton of stats in this one, but... So, right off the bat, Montreal goes up one to nothing. So we move on now, so we're on the second minute of the game. So we're going to swap down here to line two. Occasionally when a team scores, so they'll get the momentum now. Occasionally when a team scores, I'll automatically go first line, like late in the period or something like that, because the team's pumped up and they want their best guys. But um, during most of the game, I will just swap the lines out. And I think you're supposed to anyway, but again, some house rules I play with. So Montreal's on the board, one to nothing. They have momentum, and we're going to face this off here. An eight. Home team wins the face off. So it's Quebec with the puck. Quebec, a seven is a lull. So lull, you lose the momentum. And three minutes come off the clock. One, two, three. So we've played four minutes. We're in the 15th minute right now. And we're going to change lines again. Actually, we keep the lines out there during a lull. Sometimes I'll change it, but I'm going to keep them. Uh, high face-off. So, we got a 49 and a 51. So, Quebec wins it. Quebec with the puck. The second line out there for Quebec. A 10. If there's a square, it's a turnover. Yes, there's a couple of squares. So, that's a turnover. Change of possessions. No timing, no line change. The puck just goes over to Montreal. It's a 7, so we get another lull. And so, we kill three more minutes off the clock, and now we're in the 12th minute of play. Uh, I'm going to swap it down to the third line. I haven't got them out there yet, so I'm going to play the third line, even though you're not supposed to. But again, I like to kind of mix it up. So we got to play now. If the defensive team has two squares, it's a turnover. Otherwise, it's an offensive play. So we have two squares. Actually, we got three squares over here. Um, I'm still learning how to set up the teams of squares and circles, so I need to do a better job of that. So you might look at this and say, oh, what are you doing? But I don't know. I threw some lines together today, but I will get better with the squares and circles but so that is going to be uh we're going to change the lines advance the clock and it's taken away by quebec as they say so let's advance the clock that was a turnover and so montreal still leads this one one to nothing uh now we have a five penalty event so let's check for penalties so you're going to get to see my arms here as i check the penalties 
So let's roll the dice and check for penalties. A four is D three. So D three is Smith. It's at a penalty one. Stastny has a 1.5. So I think how this goes is if it's less than one, no penalty. If it is, then it's a major penalty. Wow. Wow, a major penalty. They have, there's a lot of major penalties in this game. Like, way too many major penalties. So, we're going to get a major penalty, I guess, if I read that right. So, let's see what the major is. So that's going to be on Stastny. A 12. Um, that's five minutes for elbowing. So, we got um, a major on Quebec. So, we got two, three, four, five. So, we got five plays coming up on the power play. So that's kind of odd to get a major right off like that, but we do. So um, so the major penalty, I need to mock off this guy here. So he's going to be the bad guy, so he's in the box. So we're going to go on to line two, and I'll bounce between one and two on the power play. So who's going to be sitting out? So I will have sitting out. On this line will be this guy right here. All right, so Montreal's on a power play, so we have the power play minutes chart. If I read that correctly, that, that's kind of weird for a major to be right off the bat like that. Another penalty check. Oh, boy, here we go. This is when it gets fun, when it's all about penalties. And another four. So, well, this guy is not even on the ice, so I'm giving the penalty to this guy. But... So it'd be four, sorry, four two. So it'd be Mondu, but if he's less than one, there's no penalty. So there's no penalty on the play. So that's how we're gonna play that. Is that they didn't have a guy on the ice in that spot? I think was it four? Let me double check. I gotta keep double checking. I'm still not that good at this. D three. Yeah. So that would be here. If there's nobody here, then. It would be on Montreal, but because he's less than one, there's no penalty. So, so we just have no play. A minute comes off the clock, and we'll put line one back out there. So, we're going to do a face-off, I believe, after that. Eight. Man advantage team wins the face-off, and they have temporary momentum too, by the way. Man advantage team wins the face-off if they have two stars and circles. Or just one, they're going to play. Man advantage team wins the face-off. If they have that, it's an immediate play. So they get the puck, and it's immediate play. Eight. Two, one, three. Two, one, three. So one, two, and we fill that in for momentum's three. So it's three shooting on two. No, it's got to go down the shoot. Three shooting on two. No. Five is a save. And 0-2 gets the rebound shot. So, shot saved by 70. Mario Tremblay swoops in. So he's now three shooting on two. Three shooting on two. No, that's another save. Eight. Scramble for the puck and it's cleared away by the defense and we change lines. So we got a couple shots by Montreal, but we got a save. And so now we're in the third minute of the power play, and line two comes back out. Um, Montreal with the puck and the momentum. 11, battle for possession. Team with the most power play, circles with stars or circles? Hmm, none. I don't think I have anything. Okay, then I re if no players on the ice have the power play of penalty kill symbols, which they don't, then treat it as 10 turnover. Okay, so the puck goes over to Quebec. I think that's a... Oh, wait, no, I say no, no line change, so let's put that back. Eight minutes, no, so just Quebec with the puck now. 10. That's a turnover. Offensive team loses the puck. Okay, so still nothing really happening here. A three. All right, scoring chance now. Scoring.
scoring chance. A nine. A nine is four, two, and choice. So four, two, and this guy here. So we get two, three, four, five, six. So it's a six shooting on a two. So basically, it doesn't matter what that is. We got to get higher than a two to get that on the net. No, 70 makes the save. Stacks the pads. So it's a Montreal shot on net, but 0-2 gets a rebound chance. So Mondu is shooting two on two on the power play here. Mondu shooting two on two, and goalie has to make a spectacular save. Can 70 do it again? A seven, a two, or a better. He makes the save, and he does have two. 70, spectacular save. Wow, he is keeping Quebec in it here while they are shorthanded. So, we got a couple more rolls here. This is a five-minute major, and seven is a power play chance for Montreal. Seven, secondary chat, we're rolling a lot of sevens here, and a five. Five, two, and four. Five, two, and four. So we get one, two, three. So I'm shooting three on two this time. No, a 12. So it's a Montreal shot. Offense keeps the puck. Kept it at the blue line. A6. So now we got a zoom coming up. So let's see what the zoom's going to be. Four. It's a hit. So we need to see between two and four. No, there's no hit. So, if the other player has it, the defender wins. So, I think that's how that went, is that we have to look at two and four on the dice. And four didn't have a hit, and two didn't have a hit. So, the puck goes over to Quebec. Change lines, advance clocks. It is a turnover. And now, in the second lines are out here. And this is the last roll of the Montreal major penalty, if I'm not mistaken. So it's another penalty event. So that might kill it off. So let's go to our penalty chart. And let's roll the dice on the penalty event. And that's another four. Holy cow, we are rolling fours up the yin-yang. D3. D3. So there's no D3. And this is less than one, so there's no penalty. So that's how I'm handling that. Whether I'm right or not, I don't know. But I had this guy marked off as not being on the ice, so there's no check against him. So we're just going to call this um, a face-off, and the power play is over. So that's how I'm doing that, because nobody had the hit. I mean, nobody had the... um the quality there or whatever it was so or the penalty so all right so that is over one two three four five six so we got six minutes to play in the period so we're in the in the six minute here 11 waved off new face off new players eight home wins the face off so home wins the face off and um advance rule they didn't um they didn't convert on the power play, so they lose the momentum. So nobody has momentum. Puck goes to Quebec. And I think there was a spectacular save in there, too. So maybe, um, I think because of the spectacular save, yeah, they would have it here for the spectacular save. So they didn't have it for the power play, but they, they would get it back because of the spectacular save and the penalty kill. I think that's how it goes. All right, so Quebec with the puck, seven. So we got another lull here. One, two, three. So they lose the momentum. So now we're down here to a little over two minutes of play in the period. And now I'm going to go back to line one because it's late in the period. A 12. High face-off wins. And it's an unusual result. Over here, and we have an unusual result. Eight. Unusual penalty. Oh, these these trip me up so bad. I can never figure out how to read these. So we're gonna try it though. Unusual penalty. Let's see what it says. 
66. Penalty shot. Okay, so a high penalty on offensive one prevents a scoring chance. <sighs> 01. So 01 will get the penalty shot. So, I have not done a penalty shot yet. So, hang on one second. Okay, we're back. Looks like we have to go to the last page of the chart to look up penalty shots. So, Mats Naslin is going to take a penalty shot on Richard 70 to try to make it 2 to nothing. All right, so we're going to roll the dice, and it doesn't stay in. We'll roll it again. Six. Glove saved by 70, so the penalty shot is saved. So that would be a Montreal shot. And so now we go into the, the final minutes of the period. So, big save there on the penalty shot. And so let's go back to our normal minutes and wrap up the first period. So, line two is out there. And that's a six. Visitor wins the faceoff. So Montreal with the puck. 10. That's a turnover if there's a square, and there is. So, Quebec takes over the puck. 7. No lulls in the last three minutes. So, lull is read as momentum. So, we check hits for momentum. So, we got three hits over here and three hits over here. So, it's going to go to the home team. So, they keep the puck. And now they have momentum, and it's a possible fight. Do we have fights? Yes, we do. Alrighty. So we got to check the fight range. I believe that's what we got to do. So if it's one and one, is that how we do it? And no, I think we rolled, and the fight rating is, is two. It's higher than that, so no fight. I think that's how that goes. Um, so we, we did a fight check, and nothing happens there. Again, I don't like to even bother with the fights, but whatever. So we're just going to go to face-off, top line out there, last minute of the period. A seven. Face-off won by high face-off, followed by a lull, so that ends the period. So... Not a very exciting period. A lot of lulls. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I got 10 lulls in the period. And I'm not even, I don't even sure if that lull would end the period, but we're going to end the video on that. Um, as you can see, there's still a lot of, a lot to this game that I thought I knew, but I guess as I play this video, um, I still don't know how to do a fight. And there's a few other things that are still very confusing. So it, it's a fun game it's just there's a lot going on here to keep track of and and it trips me up all the time and as, as much as i'm enjoying it i still find myself fighting with it a little bit so anyway so that's a look at hockey blast so it's going to be interesting to go back and look at this to see how many mistakes i made but so obviously now some things i need to do i need to figure out uh the fights which i don't usually bother with in hockey games but i'll have to figure that out and um a few other things so I, I did learn how to do a penalty shot today but anyway so uh so that's that's the story here so we played one period montreal leads one to nothing we had a penalty shot we had a five minute major which i think major penalties are way too easy to get in this game i just think that there's too much of that unless i read it wrong which i could have because it is a very confusing game but anyway i had a little bit of fun hope you did too this is dave we'll talk to you later bye bye